In this class we will proceed with the design of the Gramigno, learning how to trace circumferences and ellipses, finishing the geometry of the body of the set. To begin with, we open the available file and we will finish the geometry layout. First we will draw the circumferences that represent the hurricanes and the bounces of the body. We have activated the circumference command in the draw panel of the home tab. We click on the intersection of these two center lines of the front view and define the radius of 6. With this, this view of the piece is already defined. Let's finish the side view of the body. To do this, we activate the circumference command again and set the intersection of these center lines as central point. Here will be inserted two circumferences, one radius 5 and the other radius 9. Follow. So we finish the side view of this piece. Let us now study the other circumference tracing options. By clicking the arrow below the circumference command, we access a menu with other stroke options. The first is the one that allows the creation of circumferences by defining the center point and the diameter. We activate this option, click on the graphic area and set the diameter of the circumference. We can still define a circumference through two or three points, C. We also have the options to define the circumference using two points of tangency in the radius, or three points of tangency. Notice how we define the circumferences through these methods. Proceeding. Let's look at how to insert ellipses, we activate the respective command in this panel. Next, we specify the center point and two more points to inform the dimension of the ellipse. Here we also have other insertion methods. We can define an ellipse by specifying the length of one of the axes and its height. It is possible to create an elliptical arc, where the procedure is practically the same as previously seen. But after setting the height of the ellipse, we specify the beginning and end points of the arc opening. And so we concluded the studies of this class, where we saw how to create circumferences and ellipses, elements commonly found in projects.